we host Grammy award-winning artist, activist, and co-creator of Donda's House, Che Ryan Smith, and filmmaker, he's awesome, graphic artist, Coney Rock on Counterpoint with Gerard McClendon. is hard to raise him. Why did daddy leave? Who created the mayhem? Don't even matter no more. Already forgave him. I got kids of my own and I currently raise them. And my kids is amazing. And my shorties is waiting. Go to Chuck E. Cheese. Granddad take him. So I found a form. Took the time to show him. They asked what's his name. They just trying to know him. See at 35, what? I started to add. I subtracted the pain. And divided the bad. Plus. Multiplied the grind. From so a fraction I had. And all it take is showing up. Joining me at the Counterpoint Grammy Award winning recording artist Che Ryan Fest Smith and awesome filmmaker extraordinaire graphic artist Coney Rock. Gentlemen, what's up today? What's up? Y'all doing bro? all right How today? Oh man, Coney Rock gave me a pound already. Hey, you know what? <laughs> We've been talking about this series on art saving lives, and I know that the two of you have put out such an amazing body of work, whether it's film, um, MCing, battle rapping, you recording artist, you've done that work. Writing, uh, Coney Rock, graphic artist, cartoons, filmmaking, just amazing work. Let's talk about art saving a life though. Can art save a person's life or can it save the artist's life? Any of you two gentlemen. Well, well you know, it's, I think it's important to know Gerard that Coney Rock and I have known each other since 14, 15 years old. When our journey started and he first kind of picked up a camera, you know, we were going through things where he would call and tell me, you know, this person really said this and that about me and this and that. And, and, I, and I say, you know, don't worry about that. Let's, just, let's beat them with success. Let's make another video. Let's, so when we talk about art saving lives, I believe that it has to be for the art, for the personal conflict resolution. One of the issues we have now is art versus uh, public consumption versus uh, monetary gain. Uh, Coney Rock and I came up doing art because it was a way of self-medicating. It was, it was therapy for us as young people, white and black, two different parts of town of Chicago, but had visual and audio art in common. We collaborated and we have a 30-year friendship. You know you, what I mean? You know, Coney, uh, when I look at your work, it is, uh, it's inspiring, it is tear jerking at times, and it really shows the true manifestation of what an artist can do when it comes to possibility. So I'm referring to the Chicago video that you did for Rhyme Fest, yeah. uh, the, uh, uh, is it City is Falling? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it, it, it's funny because you can kind of tell that the two of you have this amalgamation of artistic uh, output because when I watch the videos that you've done for artists, it's like that's what the artist was probably trying to convey. And so often when I see videos, there's this disconnect, Coney. It's like, wait a minute, I'm listening to the lyric, I'm, look, I'm listening to the artist, <laughs> I'm looking at the video, and they aren't connected, Coney Rock. How do you get to that connection, man, where I'm looking at this fan spinning and city is falling and I'm feeling sorry for Ryan Fest? How do, <laughs> how do you how do you connect with the artists and get that filmmaking out, brother? Well you gotta feel sorry for, for them from the beginning. <laughs> but uh, uh, well it's uh, um, we'll probably like working with different people um, and working with Fest, like he said. You know, when he, when he did his second album and he did it all independently, and we're, we kind of went in, there re was really no resources. We were just like, we were just driven by like art, really just love and wanting to do something. And um, when the resources were, were taken away, that's when we really got gritty and just like got stuff done. Mm -hmm. And at a, after we had done like seven videos in a row, we were just dropping them. I remember like having a discussion on the phone, we were talking about new ideas and stuff. And then, we're, and, I don't know if he said it or I said it, but we, we came up with like, 
man, we're actually a group. Like yeah. Pete Rock and CL Smooth is a group. Yes. It's like Ryan Fitz and Coney Rock is like a group because we have like a symbiosis that comes from, I think, our, our love and respect for not just art and like concepts, but like meaning behind things. Yeah. And like, not just that, but why? Like, why are, why are we doing something? Like, touching that emotion. And, and I, I think it's yeah. important also to say that Coney shot one of the last videos for Fife Dog oh. before his passing. And in the video, uh, he connected, Fife was trying to exercise and get through his diabetes, which was ultimately his demise, which I think, you know, it goes to show that the art that at least that Coney Rock does comes from more of a humanistic struggle than it does a commercialized yeah. uh, uh, profit type of, type of thing. Much of the, the footage for our film <laughs> in my father's house came from Coney Rock just shooting my life over a period from 14 to 37 years old. So when we needed that back in the day footage, Coney has filmed that on, on Chicago history that is just locked away in a vault like Prince, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and that's love. I think artists who are in love with their trade, the best stuff, the most intriguing stuff, mm. the public may never see mm. because life is art to them. Is it one hand or one arm push up? That's a good question. Is it yeah. is one is arm it, push up? One you arm, know, one arm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the first time I saw that video, I must have sent it. I sent that link to like everybody that I knew. I said, "Dude, you got to see this. <laughs> Ryan Fest is doing push-ups with one arm, with one. I, I, this is like, and he's doing other stuff with his other hand. Goni, where does that come from, man? So, uh, you, <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> he came up with the whole idea. So, we're, it's the dopest part about that, and it really goes. Um, that's the last video we did for El Che for the se his second album, and and we had done like so many things. We're like. We, we needed like so many ideas to come up to do a, a video for every song because that was our goal. So I had this in my head like, I just want to make you do a push up nonstop with no cuts, right? That was the original idea. Just uh, making you do a one arm push up. And I'm like, I can't. I can't do one. <laughs> I was like, don't worry, we're going to figure it out. Let's just, 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 just love the idea. Power then, don't make but it. the dope thing is that like, I called him one day to talk about that when he was working on the album. I was like, yeah, I want to make you do a one-arm push-up. And then he's like, yo, I'm on the way to the studio. I got this dope S1 beat. I'm going to make that the song. So I told him about the idea for, for a video with no song. He went to the studio. He made a song. came back like, this is the song. I was like, oh, snap. So then planned the video out, and then, and then it got done. We were a group. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I think but, but what that yeah. talks to, Gerard, is when you're doing art, art is not made alone in a silo by yourself. Art is collaboration. And I don't, I don't know that any effective art, especially community art, mm -hmm. can be done uh, alone. Yeah. Let's hold that thought because I want to ask the audience this. Are you a filmmaker, singer? Could you be an MC or a graphic artist? Are you a Rhyme Fest or a Coney Rock fan? Hey, here are a few of your Facebook comments. Brenda Owen says, I saw Rhyme Fest at the Music Box Theater. His story about finding his father made me cry. Shayla Taylor on Facebook says the Raekwon and Fife Dog videos that Coney made were different than most videos that you see. I still watch them today. I miss Fife Dog. The Coney Rock video is true prophecy. And The Real on Facebook says I was there when Ryan Fest beat Eminem in a freestyle battle at the Scribble Fest. He said off the top of the dome, Ryan Fest is incredible. Wow. Hey, thanks for the comments. Voice your concerns and we the people. Hey, call or text me 844-777-9311. Tweet me at Gerard MC and Facebook to Counterpoint Gerard. This ain't the last time I see you in due time. That's my word. I'm going to see you. Front and ass rappers down here still an issue. Posing like they hard when we know they uh, are secret. Uh, I'm going to tell you, Dilla, why they lacking skills, pal. Uh, no stage presence, cadence, style. Uh, they just been off the hooks. Uh, skinny jean crooks, uh, pre-K lyrics. Uh, what one I need uh, a I reminisce, reminisce. When mob dropped shook, Shan was down by law. Such a good look. Nas got son and his return was still mad. It was distortion, the static. You in slum, fantastic. Thought I chopped you out, son. See how you doing? Come back to earth, homie. Hip hop is in the ruins. I'm a third of the top, but I'ma speak for the click. What up, though? We miss you, kid. Mother City say. GD, flip another beat for me. GD.
Wow, wow, I missed that, brother. Man, that's, that's, uh, that's kind of hard to watch and beautiful at the same time. Welcome back to CounterPoint. Ryan Fest and Coney Rock and the Creative Process. Gentlemen, um, wow, man. Tribe Call Quest, uh, Dear Dilla, Fife Dog, um, Battle with Diabetes. Coney Rock, you were blessed to have the opportunity, man, to uh, work on Fife Dog's video, man. What, what was that like? And, um... Well, I originally met Tribe Called Quest first when when Che did a, uh, a the Bounce tour, I think, in 2008. I think that's the first time I, I actually met them. And then uh, Fife came to Chicago to do a show for Puma, and um, uh, I just um, oh, it's funny because my friend uh, from my breaking crew, Chicago Tribe, he asked me to to uh, film a, a breaking battle that was gonna happen before that. So I was there for the breaking battle, and Fife was on that show. So it ended up being a thing where I would, I would interview Fife and also film his show. And then I was backstage, and um, we had done all of everything. It was the end of the night. Fife was just chilling. And I was like, hey, man, I, I wonder like, what, what he's up to now. I haven't heard any new Tribe Called Quest music. Out of Is he making music? I didn't even know. I was like, it would be really nice to do a video for mm. him. Maybe I'll ask him. And then uh, I was walking by, and I was going to ask him, but he was talking to someone. I was like, I don't, I don't want to be rude. Forget it. I'll just go home. Left the venue. I was like, oh man, I forgot my camera bag. Oh. Forgot my camera. So I ran back in, got my camera, and the person wasn't talking to Fife anymore. I was like, I'll talk to Fife. And then that was it. He like, talked to my manager, started texting that night after at the club. They were, they were wanting to do something. Then over two years, they sent me beats. What do you think of this? What do you think oh. of that? And then after a couple of years, they sent, one day they sent the Dear Dilla beat, said they wanted to do this. What would you do? Sketched them something up. They liked it. They booked a flight to Chicago. We're, we're shooting here, we're shooting in Detroit, shot it, and it was amazing. That's serendipity. That's why you have to be present in all situations. You have to, you know, sniff around. You got to keep your eyes open. You have to be aware at all times, you know. And it was serendipitous, and it was not a coincidence for you to forget that camera. <laughs> I you, mean, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's for real. You know, let me ask you this. Um, on your website, it says that Coney Rock is a b-boy. What does that mean, man? I know what it means, but you got to tell my audience, man. Why do you have that on your website? Uh, well, because I, I mean, I, I have been, and I, and I, I might not be what I'm do, doing, what I'm doing now, if, and I might not have met some of my best friends if not for that, yeah. for breaking, and I, I still break. We had practice last night, yeah. so. Um, break, you can break dance. I mean. <laughs> <He> was, <laughs> yeah, I got a big table here. <laughs> yeah, I got a big table here. This is all good. See, you know what I like? Uh, it, it, it seems like the two of you are brothers, man. I, I mean, I'm talking we biological. Are. Are. Because, you know, there's, there's a kinship here, and there's a love of art. And so many people get into the business for fame, for fortune, for respect of other people. They get into the business just to be liked. They get into the business so that they can uh, reign power over people. But the two of you, you love art. You know, the other day, so my wife and I were at the Art Institute. And it, it hits me all the time how powerful art is. You don't have to watch a music video or see a film. We're at the Art Institute. The Van Gogh exhibit is there, bedrooms. There's a line around the building just to see a few paintings, you know? Che, what is that, man? Where, where's, what's it, where's that coming from? Well, I think that happens when you have a community that values that type of art, right? Mm -hmm. I think that that's why it's important to teach art. So when you look at what we do at Donda's house, <clears throat> what the work that we do at Donda's house is not just making art, it's teaching art. I'll give you an example. I'll never forget the first time I ever met Ramsey Lewis. He asked me who my favorite jazz player was. I said, I don't really like jazz. And he went crazy. He was like, the problem with young people today is you. And then, but, but, but it took me years to realize I didn't like jazz because I was never taught the language of jazz. Yes. Jazz is a language that you have to learn in order to understand the value yeah. of what that piano is saying, what that horn is saying. Yeah. So no one ever taught me that language. One of the problems we're having in a lot of black communities mm -hmm. is that we're not being taught the language 
of our traditional art forms. Mm -hmm. So what happens is young people are artists in you, and so we just make it up. Yeah. And, and art becomes just throwing colors on the wall instead of speaking ancient languages through drum, mm -hmm. speaking ancient languages through horn, through sound, through voice. And so I think when they look at that Van Gogh painting, the people who lined up around the corner had generations of, of teaching and educating centered around Van Gogh, yeah. the same way you have around Broadway. Uh, in a lot of our communities, we don't have Second City. Yeah. We don't have things on the west and south sides of Chicago that teach the language of art. And in many homes, the mother and dad is not even there to teach you the language of music. Mm. So that's why Donda's house is in play. But I, yeah. to, to your point, though, Gerard, I just think that they appreciate the art through education. Got you. Donda's house was created. Why? Donda's house was created because Dr. Donda West, who's the mother of Kanye West, was a mentor. She was the dean of the English department uh, at Chicago State University, but she was also a mentor to Kanye's friends. She became a surrogate mother mm. to many of us, including myself. And so we created Donda's House to honor the legacy of Fulbright scholar Dr. Donda West, mm. who taught me many things about life through art. Yeah, yeah, you're the co-creator of Donda's House along mm. with uh, uh, Donnie. With my wife, Donnie Smith, and with Kanye West. Yeah. And you know, it, it's so, yeah. It's so eerie yeah. how my wife, Donnie, is so closely named the Donda, and how the young people I see from Donda's house look at my wife, how I look at Dr. Donda West. There's a magnetism there, and I think that your organization is truly uh, looking at doing great work helping that 16 to 24 year old. 14. 14? 14, 14, 14 to 24. To 24 yes. Which is that, that's that X factor, that missing mm -hmm. link. That's what. Coney Rock, a lot of young people need to be introduced to some sort of art so they can start creating rather than killing people. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, if you were to give classes, Coney, the great Coney Rock, what would you teach in? Would it be drawing, filmmaking? What what might it be? I would, I would probably just focus on try, trying to get something in your mind to to a to a tangible place. So I teach somebody how to um, how to because a lot of times in your mind you create obstacles that aren't really there that limit you from getting something out. So I would mm. show them how simple it is to get something from your mind to, you know, to a, a piece of paper or to a camera uh, rather than, because um, like, I just remember um, this guy Matt Woodburn at Columbia College. Uh, he was like an older person. I and then, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but uh, I was on an elevator and I, I was filming like this documentary on Chicago Hip Hop with a little like terrible camera, you know, and then, and then I was like, yeah, I'm making. A, he's like, oh, what are you doing? I was like, oh yeah, I'm making this documentary. I was like, yeah, but this is all I have. He's like, he's like, you know what? That doesn't matter. All that means is that's just your look, bro. I was like, yeah, right. It's my, it's my look. He's like, <laughs> he's like, it's an artistic choice, right? But I just never forgot that uh, he told me that, and it was like, yeah, like there, there's no limits, man. There's no limit because yeah, someone's gonna look at that. They're, they're gonna look at what's in something. They're not gonna look at like. That, you know? Because now you got people yeah. shooting movies on iPhones. Yes. Right, I was gonna say that. Like, much, much of them, my father's house was shot off an iPad. Wow. The, people don't know that, you don't have to know that. There's a whole industry in Japan now where they, there's Japanese filmmakers, they, they, they put these iPhones on dollies and cranes mm -hmm. and everything and the work is just magnificent. Man, that's your look, I like that. That's your look. That's my look. <laughs> so, so what did? But well, we got to be careful with that. <laughs> you yeah. got to be careful. You need a camera. Be That's careful. my. You, we, always, <laughs> we always, we always we always want to graduate to something a little bit better. I never wear pants. That's my look. <laughs> no, that's not your look. That's not your, You might get arrested for that. But I like that slogan. I like that phrase because yeah. what it says is value yourself first. Yeah. Then the external value will come. But if you, don't, if you don't value that little camera, if you don't value the pencil that you're drawing with. The power, the, yeah. yeah if, if, and if you, can't, if you don't get that vision out, the world will be starved from not having it. Man, this, this is powerful stuff. Uh, I, I got about 30 seconds left. Coney, word of advice, man. Give me 10 seconds. Word of advice to the young up and coming artist. If you got, lens, if you got dust all over your lens, 
embrace it, make, make that a thing, make that intentional, make that about, make, make it about the dust. Yeah. Like, turn that, like, you're like, you shot something, there's dust all over. You're like, damn, I did it on purpose. Make it your strength. Yep. That's, That's, awesome. That's my look. Jay, 10 <laughs> seconds, man, yeah, uh, share, advice. Yeah, yeah, share your truth. Don't share the truth of anybody else's. Don't try to pretend to be someone else to be successful. If you share your truth, that's a unique story and that's a great piece of art. Hey, what are you afraid of? Go be a filmmaker, an MC activist, and a graphic artist. The only thing holding you back is you. Thanks to Ryan Fest and Coney Rock for joining me at the Counterpoint. Call, text me 844-777-9311. Tweet me, Gerard MC, and comment on Facebook at Counterpoint Gerard. Stay positive. I need you to keep your head up and always be encouraged to voice your counterpoint. Have a great week.